This video is sponsored by Vuvu. Do you have trouble making a good game? So do we. Hey, Dave Pachinko here with combat paper. It's just a piece of paper. And this is actually just the start to the video. Goodbye. So it's been three months since my last Last Hope devlog. Since then I haven't given any updates on the game's progress, so let me take you through what progress we've made. Also I've released the game recently, but we'll get into that later. One thing that I wanted to do was make a little test game for Last Hope's combat, so that we could test out different combat stuff and figure out what felt best, then move it into the project. I made a new project and created a skeleton for the character to make animations faster to make. I added tiles to the floor and a dummy as the enemy. Then I made a couple animations, these are ones that I took from the new God of War game, because I wanted to see if we could replicate that feeling of combat. This is the light attack and this is the heavy attack I made referencing God of War. We also so yoinked another thing, the axe throwing. Except in our case, hammer throwing. It didn't look great at first, so I added another animation to make the character wind up to the throw. He kind of just whips his arm, but it's good enough. And then that was the end of that, and we never touched that project again. And we just moved the combat stuff into the actual game, minus the heavy attack and light attack that I made. So now you could throw the hammer and pull it back. Well, not actually. I have to go now. Then the hammer was able to be pulled back, so you could throw and pull back the hammer. The hammer was then made to fly out head first in the direction you clicked and fly back handle first to the character when recalled. So now you can throw and pull back the hammer and swing at enemies close to you, making it the most overpowered weapon, but whatever. The bow also got an upgrade, now if you time within 0.1 seconds of the bow reloading two times, the third shot will be a triple shot. It can be hard to time, so you can also just spam click, it just doesn't feel as good. The ranged ghost now actually shoots at you, the villagers were just used as the projectile for testing. I animated a slam attack for the slime, so now he flies at you, charges up, and slams the ground, which does more damage the closer the player is to the center. We added a dive attack to the bat, it dives at the player, then dives away to keep repeating the same cycle. If the player is hit, then there is a burn effect applied to the player. The enemies now drop coins for the player to pick up, rather than just upping the number of coins in the UI. I made the water bunny have a movement animation, then I made a death particle for the enemies. This is not blood, it's redstone. I made an animation for the coins that get dropped by the enemies. This is what it looks like with both the death particles and coins dropping in the game. The fish now has a trail that it leaves wherever it goes. It also has a faster slide slash dash towards the player. The trail does take damage when the player stands inside it. At first it was the fences, then I made a different sprite to make it look more like a slime trail. The fish now can also throw the player behind it if they are too close. Stone golems and wood golems will now spawn the smallest versions of stone and wood enemies. The little ones stay in a hexagon formation around the largest ones as protection from the player. There can only be six spawned at one time, and if the player gets close, they will rush towards the player until out of range, then they will retreat back to formation. When the small ones are killed, more will be spawned. The small ones don't drop coins, because it would be too easy to farm tons of money. I created a transition between the mountain zone and air zone. I made some rocks on the top edge of the transition shaded them to add a little more depth to the rocks, then got rid of some of the grass near the rocks, added some actual grass details, it looked very good. Then I moved on to rain, because I wanted to add some rain after seeing obvious dev add rain to his game. So I started an A sprite to make the raindrop, then made a particle effect with the raindrop sprite, which took me a while to figure out. It looked decent, but sure wasn't fast enough. So I got the speed correct, and there wasn't enough raindrops in the sky at once, so I upped the particle amount, and then added a second particle effect with a water splatter for when the raindrops hit the ground, and I had a nice rain effect. I redid all the trees in the mountain zone to make them match the rest of the game world, so now the mountain zone was complete. 
and there is now a transition between the mountain zone and the original air zone. Everybody is so excited. Oh? Oof. Yikes. All jokes aside, this is exactly what I was expecting to happen when I was releasing the game. Because the game at the moment just really ain't that great. We tried to make it decent, but just couldn't. And started to get annoyed with how long it was taking to get it how I wanted. That is the reason the devlogs started to spread farther and farther apart since there was no progress being made. And it is also why the game was released recently in the state that it is right now. To be honest, it kinda went better than I was expecting, because of the amount of wish lists it gained from release. But anyways, thank you to the people that reviewed it, and the 40ish people that bought it. I have started to make a list of all the things to fix that will make the game better, and then moved it onto Trello. So if you want to play the game and give me feedback, please do. And for the people that already bought the game, please play it and leave a review. I don't care if the reviews are bad or good, just give me feedback, it will help make the game better. I won't be updating the game very soon, I'm gonna take a break from Last Hope and come back to it when I have more experience with game development, since it is the first full game me and my friend made. Look out for another video on October 6th, I will be announcing a new little game dev project for the channel. Thanks! This video was sponsored by Vuvu Merch. Get your Lil Yeti Vuvu shirts and sweatshirts today at vuvuinc.com.